so this is your team now. What does that mean to you and what does it mean to you to, to go out on top and, and to make this a, a successful college career? It's kind of wild. Uh, it goes by fast. Um, but um, I've, I've, uh, you know, I think I've earned the right you know, to, to, to be a, a leader on the defense and on the team as a whole. Um, I've been here, put in my time. I've done a little bit on the field and uh, I think guys really respect me and they respect what I'm about. Um, they know I'm always there, always accountable. And, uh, you know, when my class first came in here, we talked about how, you know, we would do the class to, like, bring Virginia football back. And uh, guys like myself, Tim Harris, uh, Dante Wilkins, we really believe that, and uh, we want to make it happen. Eliminate the big plays. That's what Bronco Mendenhall wanted this defense to do. Well, how about eliminate them and then make them? With the Buckus Award finalist, we just got a little boost in those standings. So shortly after last year ended, uh, you get word that, you know, like I, I know what you guys, how you felt about, about your head coach, wonderful man. Um, you get word that Bronco Mendenhall is going to be your new head coach. Had you heard of Coach Mendenhall? Yeah, well, I, I had heard of Coach Mendenhall because we played BYU a couple times, and uh, I got, a lot of people were shocked, I'm not going to lie. Uh, you know, bringing a coach from Utah over to Virginia, a lot of guys were like, I don't know how it's going to happen. You know, BYU is way different culturally than Virginia. But Coach Mendenhall came in right away, learned everyone's name, o um, opened himself to everyone on the team, and uh, really learned to love us all. And then just his level of you know persistence, the way he challenged us, uh, the level of detail he takes in his program, guys just brought, bought in immediately. The way he's opened up himself, the way he's told us about his culture, uh, how he you know warrior culture, how he loves that, uh, the way he talks about his family. The way he makes, you know, whether you're a walk-on, whether you, you think you're a starter, he makes everyone feel like they're a part of something bigger than themselves. And uh, I've been looking for that a lot in college, and, you know, thank God he came, because uh, we definitely need it, and uh, I see big things for us in the future. And do you feel like that that, that is the difference, and that's something that, that a team that, that lost some close games here the last couple of years really could have used uh, to just take that next step? Is, is, that's a little bit what was lacking. Especially on defense, we were always like looking to someone to give us an answer, and we couldn't really look to each other to give us ourselves that answer. And uh, yeah, just buying in, being accountable, knowing you know what each person is supposed to do, and having each other's back. I think that builds great teams. You feel like you made the right choice on where to go to school? Yeah, for sure. I've never regretted a day being at University of Virginia. I've had you know great opportunity on the field, off the pit field. I got to play pretty early. Now the potential to be a three-year starter, so you don't really find that a lot of places, and uh, I'm just getting started. Well, Kaiser leads the ACC and is third in the country in tackles. He's accumulated 114 of them. And quarterbacks beware, Kaiser has logged 14 sacks in his time in blue and orange. Almost half have happened this season.